So in 2002, our family sold our family home in Boston, Massachusetts, which was on a little size lot, just sort of like a postage stamp, consistent with urban life. And we moved to the state of Vermont. We bought 5.67 acres and we were thrilled. We had a nice home with a lot of land for the children to go out and run and play. And about a week before we closed on our home in Boston, in, uh, in Irisburg, Vermont, we walked the land and we saw berries growing. We had wild blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. And we had beautiful, luscious rhubarb. And I was thrilled because if there's something I love, it's rhubarb jam and jelly and strawberry rhubarb pie. So we closed on our home and we moved in and we were all happy. And about a week or so after we, we um, moved in, I saw the lady that we had bought the house from and I asked her, when would be the right time for me to harvest the rhubarb? And she looked at me and said, Di, you don't have rhubarb on your land. And I said, yes, we do. We have beautiful rhubarb. She said, oh, give it a few weeks. You're going to find it's not rhubarb, it's burdock. And sure enough, those plants grew. They grew taller and taller and taller. And we had a field full of burdock on our land. And that burdock would get caught in our hair. It would get caught on our clothes. It loved our socks and our shoes and it loved the dog's fur, and it was just a mess. And I didn't know how to get rid of it. So the next spring, I decided I was going to ask her, how do I get rid of the burdock that's on our land? She said, burdock has very strong roots. The only way you can get it and get rid of it is to completely pull up every bit of the root, because if you even leave a quarter inch of the root, it will take off again and it will just proliferate. And you have to burn it. You have to burn it by the roots and the leaves and the seeds because otherwise it's just gonna keep going. And year after year after year, we did that. We would pull up more and more burdock, pull it up by the roots and burn it. And it still wanted to come back. It was really difficult to get rid of. And the reason for that is because the life of that plant is actually in the root system. And you know, as people who want to be followers of, followers of Christ and God honoring citizens of his church, we have to have a strong root system because if our root system is not strong enough, when the storms of life come, when the life changes come, when we get taken down it's all over. But if we have a strong root system, when all of those negative things in life happen and all those painful events come about, we can still come back and proliferate and grow. So you are a woman of worth. You are worthy to God and he wants you and you, are, you have a job to do. So be with us on September 24th as we talk about how to have a strong root system how to be a Christ follower in a very crazy world, how to continue to grow and blossom because our root system is solid and anchored into place. See you on September 24th.